Hey there everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this time we will be talking about protective alarms. Protective alarm is one of the important barriers in security. It assists the security in detecting, impeding, or deterring potential security threat in the installation. Basically, its function is to alert the security personnel for any attempt or intrusion into a protected, protected area, building, or compound. There are three basic parts of alarm system. One, sensor or trigger device. Two, transmission line. And third, annunciator or annunciator. The sensor or trigger device emits both oral or visual signal. Transmission line is a circuit which transmits the message to the signaling apparatus. Annunciator or enunciator is the signaling system that activates the alarm. Next topic, we have the types of protective alarm system. Central Station System A type of alarm where the control station is located outside the plant or installation. When the alarm is sounded or actuated by the subscriber, the central station notifies the police and other public safety agencies. Proprietary System The centralized monitor of the proprietary alarm system is located in the industrial firm itself with a duty operator. Take note that response to all alarms is by facilities on security or fire personnel. Local Alarm System This system consists of bringing up a visual or audible alarm near the object to be protected. When an intruder tries to pry a window, the alarm thereat goes off. Auxiliary Alarm It is a company-owned alarm system with a unit in the nearest police station so that, in case of need, direct call is possible. The company maintains the equipment and lines both for the company and those in the police, fire, and other emergency agencies by special arrangement. Radio, landlines, or cell phones can avail of the auxiliary system. Local alarm by chance system. This is a local alarm system in which a bell or a siren is sounded with no predictable response. It is used in residence or small retail establishments. The hope is that the neighbor or passing will reach the alarm and call for police assistance, but such a call is purely a matter of chance. Dial alarm system. This system is set to dial a predestined number when the alarm is activated. The number selected might be the police or the subscriber's home number or both. When the phone is answered, a recording states that an intrusion is in progress at the location, so alarm. Next topic, we have kinds of alarm. Audio detection device. Super sensitive microphone speaker sensor is installed in walls ceiling, and floors of the protected area. It will detect any sound caused by attempted force entry inspected by the sensor. Vibration Detection Device The vibration-sensitive sensor is attached to walls, ceilings, or floors of the protected areas. The sensor detects any vibration caused by attempted force entry. 
metallic coil or wire. In buildings or compound, all point of entry can be wired by using electrically charged strips or tinfoil wire. Any actions that will move the foil or wire will break the circuit and activate an alarm. The metallic foil or wire is used in windows or glass surfaces. Laser beam alarm. A laser emitter plugs a wall or fencing with a beam so that when this beam is disturbed by a physical object, an alarm is activated. Photoelectric eye device. A light beam is transmitted at a frequency of a several thousand per second. It is connected by a wire to a control station and when an intruder crosses the beam, he or she makes contact with the photoelectric coil which thus activates the alarm. The photoelectric eye device is an invisible or visible beam which is emitted and when this is disturbed or when an intruder breaks contact with the beam, it will activate the alarm. Other types of alarm knee or tie button, bill traps or currency activation device, double squeeze button, and foot rail activator. The foot rail activator is commonly used in banks. It is activated by placing the front of their foot to engage the activation bar to place on the floor in such a position that tellers may activate the alarm. Bill traps. It is usually placed in the teller's cash drawer and connected to the alarm system using a wire connector. When currency is removed from the devices, the alarm is activated. The advantage of these devices is that the rubbers frequently remove the currency and activate the alarm. Knee or the tie button. It is installed inside the desk or teller station so they can be activated by the knee or by the tie pressure. It is commonly found in the location where personnel usually perform their duties from a seated position. Foot button. It permits alarm activation safely while both hands remain clear in view of the rubber. Double squeeze buttons. Pressure is required on both sides of the device and therefore the probability of accidental alarm is reduced. Let us talk about the utilization of alarm devices. The selection of proper alarm system is not a simple matter because the needs of each installation are different. Some factors that are uh, necessary or requirements of the installation will include the following. One, we have the nature of the area or the installation. Of course, the criticality of the area or complex. The vulnerability, accessibility, the location of the installation in areas to be protected, constructions and the type of the buildings, the hours of normal operations, availability of other types of protections, uh, initial and recurring cause of installed alarm system, the design and salvage value of desired equipment, response time of the security force and the local police, and lastly, savings in manpower and money for a period of time if alarm is used. Alarm devices are physical safeguards used to assist security but not a replacement in the protection of assets and lives in the installation. 
take note also that it will only assist the guards to extend their hearing and vision even in areas where they are not physically present. The alarm system, whether local, central proprietary, or an auxiliary type, are to inform the guard either visually or orally of an attempt or a break-in within the premises being protected. Access lists. These are authenticated lists of persons or personnel given to security guards allowing entry to a compound. In short, these are the lists of authorized person to enter a certain compound or installation. Bad system. A system of personal movement and control whereby badges and identification cards are issued to a personnel upon entering the installation. Controlled areas, an area near or adjacent to limited or exclusive areas where entry is restricted or it is where access is restricted to entrance or movement by only authorized person or vehicle. Restricted area, any area of access to which is subject to restriction control. Or these are areas on the site which are not open to general personnel or visitors. Exclusion area, a restricted area containing operation of security interest. Or it is a restricted area which contains the security interest to top secret importance and which requires a highest degree of protection. Duty Detail Order is a written instruction issued by the agency to its guard to perform lawful activity at a specific time, place, dates, and it includes the description, the make, model, and the serial number of firearm, and the name of the manager of the agency. Mission Order is a written instruction by the agency to its men to perform certain lawful Activity at a specific place, time, and the Doppler effect or Doppler shift, a physical phenomenon that causes frequency shift in an object, moves in an area permitted by a radio frequency signal. It was named after the Austrian physicist Christian Doppler, who proposed it in 1842 in Dry run is a practical test or exercise of a plan or any activity to test its validity, an operational readiness exercise.